Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. I'm Elizabeth Hausler. I'm the founder of Build Change. Build Change is a 501c3 nonprofit social enterprise based in San Francisco and working in Indonesia. I'm an earthquake engineer and a brick mason, and Build Change designs and trains builders to build earthquake resistant houses in developing countries and changes construction practice so that people continue to build safe houses after we leave the village. So I was about halfway through my PhD at Berkeley when the earthquake occurred in Gujarat, India in 2001 and there was something like 20,000 people killed by that earthquake and mostly from collapsing unreinforced masonry buildings and here I was learning about earthquake resistant design and I had this experience working for my father as a brick mason so I knew about how to build these types of houses and I thought well you know this is a man-made problem it's not the earthquake that kills the people it's the building collapsing that does so there should be some solution so I thought if I put those two together that I could really make a difference in this field So our first project is working in the area devastated by the tsunami in Aceh, in Indonesia. And when we build the houses, we hire and train local builders to build the houses. But we also engage the homeowner and involve the homeowner in the, in the construction process, from the, in the entire process from design through construction. And one of the first families that we worked with, a wife, a husband, and three kids, they built a small timber shack right there on their plot so that they could be there day by day in the construction process overseeing it because we really want them to buy into what makes the house earthquake resistant. So when we got finished with this particular house, the family moved in, we're doing our exit survey and we're asking all these technical questions about the house and the, the mom, she just cut right through all of that and she said, this house is like a dream, now I can sleep at night. And it, it just really made us realize how important the earthquake resistance was to her and how much she believed that the house would keep her and her family safe. Well, when, when earthquakes happen in the U.S. or Japan, very few people are killed. It, it costs a lot of money, but there are very few deaths in earthquakes. But in developing countries, thousands and thousands of people are still killed by earthquakes. So in 10 years, I'd like earthquake resistant housing construction to become the norm in developing countries to really reduce those deaths and injuries throughout the world. Global X is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.